Well, boys, I need your help. Wait a minute, what the fuck is this? <gasps> Bro, you're fucking kidding me, dude. What? What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another video for y'all. Now, in today's video, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm kind of upset because, oh, look at that. Green horn, they got the lights going. That boy tripping, his car not even gonna turn on when it's time to leave. Anyway, I'm kinda torn, man, so let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this video. What is good, y'all, you dig? Welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you dig? All right, you guys, so the front bumper, right? I mean, the front end, I think it's time for a facelift. As you guys know, I had the carbon fiber Z28 front splitter on there. It got messed up. The dude who was supposed to fix it for me has been BSing this entire time, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just gonna buy a whole new one. It is what it is, but I'm coming to you guys today because I need to talk to you guys. Um, the DR rails, man, they're actually starting to trip out on the driver's side. It's this one in particular. Um, instead of it doing white, it does purple. Instead of it doing uh, blue, it does, I, I mean, instead of it doing uh, yellow, it does, I think, pink, something like that, man. And so I'm at the point where this is like the third set of Lighting Trends DRLs that I've had on this car. And the same issue always occurs, man. You dig what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a quits on that setup. Um, I've really been thinking about going to the 6th gen conversion headlights. As you guys know, I have the 6th gen conversion tail lights. The only thing with these tail lights is these are actually going back because if you haven't seen the video, I'll go ahead and attach it to this one that uh, passenger side hydro flashes. But Back on to today's topic, the front end, man, I've really been thinking about doing the 6th gen conversion headlights. Now, I know, I know, I know you guys are going to be on me in the comments. I had those same headlights on Hazel, bro. I know. I didn't think I was going to take this route, man. Honestly, I thought I was going to be kosher with getting the lights done um, and they would be straight. But they've just been giving me way too many issues. And quite frankly, bro, I really just don't feel like dealing with it anymore. I'll be honest with y'all. It, it makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? I get some new ones, put them on the car. They last on the car for, let's say, like six months, five months. You know what I'm saying? And then they start messing up again. And I'm tired of going through that. I I'm really tired of opening up those headlights and swapping the stuff out. Um, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense to me. And then on top of that, imagine if I was not able to do it by myself. You know what I'm saying? I would have to continuously go to a shop and get it done. And that's too frustrating for me, at least. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely don't want the J.I. squad going through something like that. Um, so I am officially removing my stamp of approval, my stamp of validation or whatever you guys want to call it um, from Lighting Trends. I do not mess with them no more, bro. They flow series lights. I cannot cap the flow series. Definitely works. But the RGBW, man, it's either they mess up, the company messes up and sends you the wrong kit, or like I said in the beginning, they mess up. They catch a short. They do the wrong color. It's ridiculous. No water gets to them or nothing. They just continuously mess up. And honestly, I don't feel like dealing with it no more. I'm done. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Should we go ahead and build a custom set of the 6th gen conversion headlights? I told you guys um, when I was doing the, the loading series, you know what I'm saying? Before I revealed the wheels and whatnot. Um, I actually bought a set of the 6th gen conversions, they were RGB, I plugged them in and they didn't work, the DRLs didn't turn on. Um, I loved how they looked on the car, I cannot lie, so I wouldn't mind going back to the headlights. Just the headlights though, I'm not doing the 6th gen conversion ZL1 front bumper, I'm not doing that bro, I'm sorry. I did it already, the only time you guys are going to see a ZL1 front end is when I get that 6th gen ZL1. Other than that. It's gonna be that front end right there, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, so y'all let me know down in the comments, man. I'm, I'm really thinking about reviving the front end of Mamba uh, before he goes under the knife to get the big boy work done. You guys already know I'm talking about big cam. I'm not telling you guys what stage cam I'm going or none of that yet. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have those post notifications on. And make sure you drop a comment in the comment section of every video, man. And give these videos thumbs up. That way I know that you guys are enjoying the content I'm producing and I'll cont continue to, you know what I'm saying, produce that content. Now, if you guys are not liking it, I can definitely change it up. I am about to graduate, so I will be going to a whole lot of car meets and stuff like that, so you guys can expect the car meet videos to come back. You guys can expect the track day videos to come back, and you guys can expect the J.I. Reviews videos to come back. I know you guys really enjoyed that. I actually been thinking about doing the Rating My Subscribers video again. Um, I did that a couple months back. I'm thinking about doing another one, so if you guys are interested in something like that, let me know in the comment section down below, or hit me up on Instagram, um, because I really, I really got a kick out of doing the last one, and I think I can do another one and this one would be so much better so y'all let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that i think i'm gonna do 10 cars just to keep the video short man because those videos be like 20 to 30 minutes dog and then you got to edit them all the way down to 15 or 10 you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of work plus you got to put the person's car on the screen and all that extra stuff so it does take a little minute so y'all let me know down in the comment section down below if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing i definitely can make it happen you know what I'm saying? But I would only do it for 10 cars, bro. You feel me? Oh, look. Goddamn. Goddamn J.I. Squad. <laughs> J.I. Squad. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. I'm vlogging and dude drives by and says, what's up, J.I.? Anyway. So, now that I've got the topic of this video out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what the hell I just saw. Oh, or when this happened. But, bro, look at that, bro. Oh, my God. God, bro, that's so bad. I'm not upset for two reasons, right? I'm not as upset as I should be for two reasons. Reason number one, the wheels are going back to Lucas to get fixed regardless because he did a terrible job. I'm just gonna keep it a book. He did a terrible job. They're going back to get redone, resprayed, recoded, all of that shit, and actually ceramic coated because that's ridiculous. Um, the job that he did at least is ridiculous, but. That is crazy, bro. Like, I don't even know where I could have done that at. Like, I really thought, like, bro, I just cut on the camera to come talk to you guys, come vlog for you guys. And I look and I see that, like, man, dude, these wheels, I'm not even going to lie. They're beautiful. They are, but they have been a fat headache. I got to keep it a buck with y'all, man. They've been a big headache, bro, for real, for real, because, like, trying to get Lucas to do them right, trying to get, you know what I'm saying, them to fit the car and all that, oh, shit, man, it's been a headache, but you already know, it comes with the game, man, gotta charge it to the game, take it on your chin and keep pushing, simple as that, man, you feel me, so, with that being said, that's actually gonna do it for this video, man, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, make sure you turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, I wanted to make sure I got a vlog out for you guys, I know I haven't been that consistent, with the uploads lately, man, y'all bear with me. I'm telling y'all I got some great content coming. I just want to continue to put out good videos for you guys. I don't want to put out no trash, you know what I'm saying? So, with all that being said, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have your post notifications on. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys want to be on the next rating my subscribers, cars video. You know what I'm saying? I might even do one in person. I think that'll be live if I did one in person. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. But with all that being said, man gonna do it for this one i'll see you guys in the next one peace